prior to, to planet Earth, so we're going to be going back 4.5 a billion years of Earth history, and we're going to work, walk our way from the Hadean to the Archean through the Proto- Well-designed courses incorporate overarching framework concepts that help students tie together the key components of the course. One framework concept used in this introduction to mineralogy for geologists considers how minerals evolved throughout Earth's 4.5 billion year history. This video illustrates a 50-minute whole class end-of-term activity that reinforces key skills and concepts using this framework for context. You will see the instructor orchestrating the activity and guiding students who work in pairs and groups. Make sure that every pair has one mineral in a box, a white box. Please leave the lid on until I tell you to. Uh, each person should have a single sheet that is a template. This 50-minute activity takes some preparation, but after it's been done once, and so long as samples and resources are well organized and labeled, reuse in subsequent years is not difficult. It takes one instructor and two to three assistants about 10 minutes to prepare the exercise in class and distribute resources to 90 students. Keep the lids on the boxes. Uh, you are going to start uh, over here uh, with your partner. Uh, when I say go, you're going to lift off the lids of the boxes and you're going to use your skills to identify the mineral. Uh, once you've identified the mineral, I want you to go online or use your textbook and fill out the rest of the properties that you know how to do based on this course. Five, four, three, two, one. Open the boxes. What form does it have? Is it, is it elongate? Is it botryoidal? Is it acicular? What, what, what textural term would you give? Um, I always think like, the, like it's got like the triangle kind of shape thing. Yes, like which, is a, which is a fun function of its cleavage, right? Right. Yeah. So you could put something down like that. Yeah. And then once you're done with that, uh, what you guys want to do is start, uh, you, you will be the first uh, for your stage, which is stage number five. Uh, to start gathering people around you. Okay. okay. Stage five. Cinco. Five? I am a ten. We got seats over here. It is a silicate, a subclass tectosilicates. It's a plagioclase. The instructor keeps careful track of time and prompts with a microphone to keep everyone up to speed. He and teaching assistants circulate and help students. They distribute their expertise among all groups and monitor progress at the same time. Timing is not rigid, but slower groups are encouraged to keep up. You should be thinking about working on part three now. What are the, what are the diagnostic characteristics of Earth history when your mineral diversified and became abundant? Base that on the readings, on the homework, on the handout that you've got right now, any online resources. Take about five minutes for that. Get one of the poster boards, grab as many markers as you can, take all your favorite colors, <laughs> stake out some space, and start being creative. <laughs> take the card the brown one, thanks. No passive observers. This is a challenging synthesis exercise. Minerals are identified and characterized by student pairs using any resources they choose. Then, in larger groups of six to 10, students establish relationships between mineral characteristics and the framework concept. Finally, groups must depict those relationships collaboratively and imaginatively, yet posters must be correct and complete. We got five minutes to finish the posters, five minutes. All right, bring your posters up. Bring your posters up. What I wanted to just say is what you have managed to create uh, is a timeline through Earth history from planetary accretion uh, up to uh, igneous rock evolution as we begin to get igneous processes occurring through the onset of plate tectonics.
which gives us divergent plate oh. margins. That's it. We have exactly 15 seconds remaining. We're on time. Uh, Thursday, come again with your mineral ID equipment one more time. All right. Thank you.